think it's natural for me to feel a little bit heavy and a um, you know, I know that there's lots of opinion and criticism and headlines and all that sort of stuff, but believe me, I'm going to be the worst person to criticise myself and I think that's a result of just being a little bit of a perfectionist and um, an elite athlete for so long and we just spend so much time striving and working towards winning that it does hurt when it doesn't happen. But um, I feel very proud of how I raced tonight. I put myself in every position to try and win, unfortunately. I just didn't have the legs. Uh, well, I, I knew that the individual sprint was always going to be very tough for me this time around. I didn't realise I'd be um, as far off the game as what I was, but uh, it, it's an event that I've struggled with ever since London, and um, I knew my best chances were going to be in the Kieran and the team sprint with Stephanie Morton, where we went very close to a bronze medal, and I'm very proud of the bronze medal that I did win in the Kieran, um, and that was where all of my goals lay. It's a rare experience to be at Olympic Games, let alone medal at an Olympic Games. And I'm very proud of the, even though tonight was a, a rough night, I'm very proud of the longevity and the consistency that I've been able to show and, um, and build over a time frame, a long time frame. I love my sport, track cycling. I've loved being able to be a headline enough to, to send it into the lounge rooms of everyone back home in Australia. We're, we're not a hugely high profile sport back home in Australia in these Olympic Games and Commonwealth Games are the main chances we get to, to get exposure and it's nice for me to be able to share that sport with so many people and it was tough to line up in a 9th to 12th final um, but I felt a duty as the Olympic champion from London that I had to give it the respect that it deserved and I had to race it as hard as if it was a gold medal final and I did that and I'm happy that I did that and I'm proud.